Good morning, and welcome to this webcast on online meetings from Outlook Web App in Exchange 2013 CU1. My name is Jennifer, and I will be the English dubber for this webcast made by Fabrizio Volpe, Microsoft MVP on Directory Services. This is a little part of a full session I will be presenting on April 18, 2013, at 6 p.m. in Milan. The session number is UC02, and the title is Link and Exchange to the Max, Features, Integration, and Configuration. Micro-Session Agenda. The Introduction to Online Meetings from OWA. Exchange 2013 CU1. Prerequisites. How it works. Full session agenda includes Unified Contact Store, High Resolution Photos, OWA Meeting Scheduling, Integration of Archiving and Unified Messaging. Introduction to Online Meetings from OWA Online Meeting provides OWA users the capability to schedule a link meeting from within the browser. It is available in Exchange 2013 Online and with Exchange 2013 CU1 on-premises paired with Link Online and Link On-Premise. One of the new features in Exchange 2013 CU1 is support for creation of online meetings in Outlook Web App, OWA. When you create a new event in OWA, you can click on Online Meeting, and the meeting is created as an online meeting. You can also update an existing event to be an online meeting. Exchange Server 2013 RTM Cumulative Update 1 Six months after RTM, Microsoft has shipped the first cumulative update for Exchange 2013 CU1 on April 2, 2013. It is now possible to start deployments alongside previous versions of Exchange. CU1 proposes also a solution to some of the problems noted in the RTM. If you already have Exchange 2013 RTM, use a build-to-build -build or B2B upgrade. Set up backslash M colon upgrade. Otherwise, you can simply install Exchange 2013 CU1 because it is a full deployment and you can use it to begin with a new Exchange 2013. An Active Directory Schema update is required to support Exchange 2013 CU1. This is a different version to the schema update released with Exchange 2010 SP3. A note about the upgrade. If you run Exchange 2013 servers in a DAG, you need to put the server into maintenance mode before you apply the CU1 update. The scripts to put Exchange 2013 in maintenance mode are available on the Michael Van Horenbeek blog. CU1 is required to interoperate with Exchange 2010, SP3, and Exchange 2007, SP3, RU10. Online meetings from Outlook Web App in Exchange 2013, CU1, prerequisites. The scheduling user needs to be link-enabled and homed on a Link 2013 pool. The mailbox of the scheduling user needs to be hosted on Exchange 2013 CU1. Server-to-Server -server authentication, S2SO auth, needs to be configured between Exchange 2013 and Link 2013. The Link Auto Discover service needs to be configured with DNS records for Link Discover and Link Discover Internal. Online meetings from Outlook Web App in Exchange 2013 CU1. How it works. OWA used the Unified Communications Web API, or UCWA, interface to create the online meeting. When OWA boots, and whenever you create a new event in Calendar tab, OWA checks if UCWA is enabled for the user. OWA uses the Link Auto Discover service to find the user's pool and the UCWA URL. If UCWA is enabled, happens automatically if the user is homed on a Link 2013 pool, OWA shows the Online Meeting button. When the Online Meeting button is clicked, 
OWA is creating the online meeting. More details can be found on blogs.technet.com. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Can you catch this? Or match this? Check this direct.